Hello, welcome to um, my office. <laughs> yeah. um, so, uh, I haven't done a video in a while. Figured I should. Um, sorry, I look so unkempt. Um, I've had a long weekend and a long week ahead, and but I wanted to take some time out because I got a. Um, Okay, it's not a fan mail. It's an apology in the um, in the mail today, and I want to explain this. I've been dying to tell this story, but I was kind of hoping for the uh, the the punchline to arrive. Um, so uh, I don't know if you remember a while back, but I um, uh, sent a free book to my 2,000th Facebook friend um, in celebration of um, large round numbers, and then. Afterward, I realized um, that it was absurd to celebrate a round number when I could have taken the opportunity to uh, celebrate a non-round number. And my 2001 uh, Facebook friend came along, and I thought, you know, that's a science fiction number. It's, uh, it's 2001 Space Odyssey. It's Clark and Kubrick and all those guys. So um, I messed up. But luckily, um, my Facebook friends and my Amazon reviews were kind of in the same territory there for a while, and um, maybe everyone who writes a review friends me or, or vice versa or something. So I thought, well, I'll um, have an opportunity to redeem myself when I get uh, my 2001st Amazon review. I'll leave a comment on that review and say, congratulations, 2001, blah, blah, blah. Uh, get in touch with me, and I'll send you a book. So um, I did that. We had a 2001st um, Amazon review went up, and I left a comment and said, get in touch with me. Um, what I got instead, um, I should, uh, let's see if I can read this email. What I got instead, <laughs> oh, it was so awesome. Uh, Oh, that's not it. Sorry, we've gone back and forth several times on, on this to try to um, make this happen. Oh, boy, it's going to be flooded back here. Uh, oh, we're not going to be able to find this. It is the most precious email. So, anyway, someone wrote me. There, it, it came up on my end as the 2001st um uh, ha, ha, ha. Uh, here we go. <laughs> this is a great email. Okay, I'm going to read this whole thing. YouTube's probably going to reject this review. Uh, this uh, video is being too long. So I left the comment on the 2001st review on Amazon. Now, two reviews came in at the same time, so that's there's a little confusion on the, the writer's behalf on whether it was the 2000 or the 2001st. So here's the email. Hello, Mr. Howie. I hope this finds you doing quite well. I just read your note in response to the 2000th slash 2001st review on Amazon.com. There may be some discrepancy there, as it apparently appears as the 2001st for you or the 2000th for us. But as my mother likes to say, that's neither here nor there. You're obviously lovely to so quickly and kindly offer to send a book. Um, you're absolutely lovely. Obviously, you're far beyond the need to market wool on a reader-by-reader -reader basis, so your generous offer is a reflection, I suspect, of you being a, you know, they're just um, buttering me up there. Okay, now for the awkward bit I'm reading. Now for the awkward bit. My daughter is Greek Greek and wrote the review. She's 11, precocious, thoughtful, kind-hearted, and incredibly well-read for her age. She, in parentheses, she read the Odyssey this summer, uh, the summer before fifth grade. Wow. Um, I say all this because, as a mother, I want to focus on the positive before telling you a negative. She lied. She hasn't read Wool yet. Apparently, her rush of excitement at the possibility of being the 2000th reviewer, more parentheses, how fond we are of large round numbers, my point exactly, <clears throat> close parentheses, was such that she convinced herself it was only a white lie and of no consequence. Only there are always consequences of some kind, aren't there, felt or unfelt. She was on your Amazon page because a dear friend of mine sent me a message saying, I must read your book, and so must my daughter. Consequently, I told her to find it on Amazon and order it, and you know the rest of the story. Well, almost all of it. When I subsequently read her review, 
in your response, I wanted to tell her she'd have been offered something as a gift as a result of a review she should not have written. She's extremely remorseful and asked in tears that I write you and let you know what she'd done and that she's sorry. I would have her do it herself, but it's already past her bedtime, and I don't want to let the matter set until morning. I told her this is a life lesson, and I felt sure you'd understand. As I told her, this is an excellent reminder for me as much as my daughter that the truth is always best, in small things and large. In fact, I'm not really sure there really are small things. I'm going to delete her review, which will turn, uh, which will in turn delete your response. I hope you'll make your generous offer to the real 2001st reviewer. I do look forward to reading your book, as does she. Very kind regards, and in the mother's name. So I, I teared up when I read this the first time, just imagining the, the poor horror that she must have felt and gone through. Um, I actually teared up now reading it again. But um, So I, the, I couldn't handle this poor kid feeling bad and, and the mother did take the review down. I don't remember if I contacted someone else. I think it was um, uh, like a one-time thing and it didn't work out very well. But um, so um, so she took the review down and I felt horrible about this uh, uh, Madeline um, not uh, I don't know just her feeling bad for doing something that was you know innocent and sweet enough. So I decided well I'm, I'm going to send her, she's 11, I can't believe she's even reading Wool, but I'm going to send her a copy of the first Molly Fide book and, and write in there a little note that uh, there's no hard feelings and she's very sweet to apologize and I totally understood her love of large round numbers and all that. So I did that and uh, um, she doesn't know this, but I actually did it twice. The first time the envelope came open or the book was stolen because the uh, envelope arrived empty. So I had to send a second one. And it finally got there, and now I've got a note. So, dear Hugh Howie, thank you so much for the book. It is on the top of my to-read list, probably like up there with Canterbury Tales. Um, I appreciate you not being mad at my impulsiveness. Once I saw the number 1,999, my thought was, oh, let's be number 2,000. It was probably not my best idea. <laughs> In any case, it all turned out well. Again, thank you very much for still sending the signed book and caring enough to read this letter. Best wishes, Madeline. P.S. This might sound absolutely absurd, but is there some sort of writer's meeting where you all get together and talk about booky things? Probably not. <laughs> so, so concludes the, the great Madeline Caper of 2012. Um... The, this letter will definitely be uh, preserved for all time. Uh, it's one of the coolest little interactions I've had with a, um, a thus far probably non-reader. Also got in a letter from Noah, who's a seventh grader, and he is writing. And seventh grader, it's amazing. So and he wrote and uh, signed this um, letter, and it's got a return envelope stamped. For me to write back to him. Uh, I'm one of those people that wishes I, I hand wrote letters like Madeline did more than I do. I think it's, I've got a desk for it. Uh, I've got quill pens. I think it's a beautiful, um, a beautiful thing that we no longer do and I no longer do. So, but for Noah, I am. I'm going to write him a letter back. I think it's very cool to get this kind of stuff in the mail. So that's my, um, that's my fan mail reading for the day. And, um, uh, oh my God, I want to thank everybody for um, being so awesome with uh, grabbing um, Second Shift. You obviously wanted to read more of this stuff. Um, I checked earlier today and it was on the in the top 100 on Amazon, so that's crazy. Oh, and there's absolutely no chance of winning this, but uh, I already feel like I've won by making the finals for the Goodreads Choice Award in science fiction. Um, your efforts to write in iZombie made that a semi-finalist in horror and that was cool um we got trounced by the um the fairer sex in the author category it's like 10 women uh kicked all the men's butts so congrats women um and uh where's the uh where's the fairness in the workplace you know we should have at least one male representative up there best good reads author um but i'm i mean in the finals in science fiction um i'm up against people with tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of followers. So 
uh, I'm just going to appreciate having got this far. But if you want to vote, if you want to beg everyone you know to vote, um, if you feel like throwing your vote away and, and, and voting for the, um, the Green candidate or the Libertarian candidate, however you want to uh, view this complete waste of a vote, I, as that candidate, I totally support the idea. So uh, bring it on. Tell everybody. Let's see if we can at least uh, not uh, place 10th out of 10. Um, that's it. So I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. <laughs> it made my day. Now I'm going to get back to writing because I am under the gun. Uh, it's NaNoWriMo, and I'm a day behind. So uh, Thanksgiving's coming up. So I'm going to feast on some turkey here soon and get writing. Hope everyone else has a great Thanksgiving. Um, eat as much as you like. I'm not going to be one of those people to warn you off of it. Just completely stuff yourself. And uh, hopefully uh, we'll see you before Christmas. Peace out.